this episode, I review one of my favorite hotels in the United States, the Aria Las Vegas, during a sold out weekend for a Beyonce concert. A lot has changed since we've been here. We'll go over those changes and how large events at Allegiant Stadium may affect your experience in Vegas. Stay tuned. We're here in Vegas about to check in into the Aria Las Vegas. This has been our home away from home for years. It's actually where we got married. We also named our dog Aria after this hotel. We've been coming here multiple times per year, but since the pandemic, this is our first time coming back. A lot, a lot has changed. Uh, this is by far our favorite hotel here in Vegas. So we're hoping the quality remains the same and everything we, we fell in love with this hotel remains the same. We arrived to Aria at 3 p.m. on a Friday for a three-night stay during an extremely busy weekend that saw two performances by Beyonce at Allegiant Stadium. The football stadium holds 65,000 people. Vegas was already a busy destination and the addition of this football stadium with extra floor seating puts a huge strain on hotels and as a result, the prices of rooms on weekends have gone through the roof. Most MGM hotels were sold out for the weekend so the chances of being upgraded were slim to none. At check-in, we were presented with the option of a strip view or a mountain view room. We have stayed here plenty of times to know that the strip views from the Aria are mostly poor and the mountain view rooms offer stunning views of the mountain, so we went with a mountain view room. A lot has changed. And the room looks pretty much like I remembered. Actually, there's a little bit, some upgrades. Uh, this was one of the first hotels where the curtains would open up automatically when you came in. So that's still pretty uh, much working. Let's check out the view we have. This is, this was a, a mountain view. And so I don't see any mountains. So I don't know what kind of mountain view he was talking about, but there's the Cosmo and the aria was the most comfortable bed we had ever slept in back in the day and, I'm, and, the, and it's still one of the most comfortable beds this is kind of a new addition where they have the name in there but they used to have a dark duvet cover and this is all white now so that's kind of changed the seating area very spacious a lot more spacious than i actually remember the room being there's a fridge, a mini bar, and there's unfortunately no room to keep stuff in. There's some snacks, ice machine. Let's check out the bathroom. So bathroom, uh, there's two sinks, and there is a tub and a shower. And I love these toiletries, these shampoos from Lather. This is the shampoo and conditioner, so those are some of my favorites. But this is nice to have a tub in here. And bathroom also separate, so we have some privacy. Pretty much just like I remember this room. And from everything I've read, they've done a really good job of maintaining the quality Everything pretty uh, new. I don't see any visible dents anywhere. There's plenty of storage, which is sometimes an issue, but there's like enough storage for like two, two, two to three people here. And some robes. The Aria Hotel was one of the, I think the first ones here in Vegas where they had these fancy iPads and you can control everything in the room. Uh, room controls, uh, you can open up the different, uh, dr the drapes, you blackouts and shear, control your lighting, uh, temperature, they have uh, takeout. This has pretty much become a standard for most luxury hotels, not only in Vegas, but most of the country. We're starving, and so we're going to go check out the food hall, and that's one of the big changes here at the Aria since we last stayed here, is the elimination of the buffet. I love coming to a good buffet in Vegas, so I'm kind of sad about this, but 
I've heard great reviews of this food hall. Lots of different options to choose from. I don't know what the prices are look, look like, but we're starving, so we're gonna check it out. I'm kind of perplexed at how this works, but here's the instructions. You come in, you grab a seat, open the QR code and place your order, and you'll receive a text message when your entire order is ready to pick up. Unfortunately, I would like to see what my food looks like. Soul Bird, some fried chicken sandwiches. And this is the pizza from DJ Aoki. Lola's Burgers. They do have a regular smash burger for 13 bucks. Uh, these prices are not bad. Impossible burger for 18. Burger add-ons. So you can also order from this kiosk. There's a few of them uh, located throughout the restaurant. So touch, touch screen to begin. And it is not working. No. Oh, there it is. MGM Rewards members or... This is a little bit confusing. No. Just do guest. Oh well. So I, I know I want Lola's burger. Uh, what's a backyard classic? That's like two burgers. Oh, it's got lettuce. Patty cheese. Okay, continue. What are you ordering? Joel's checking out the menu. Do you know what you want to eat? The sodas appear to be self-serve. There's a huge selection of different sodas. So in regards to this Proper Eats food hall, considering how often we've come here to the Aria and just love the buffet, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this concept. It just kind of feels cheap and not up to five, five uh, star quality of Aria. This is the, the burger that I got for 16 bucks. Overall, our, our cost, for both meals was 55 so I guess not bad for Vegas standards but the setup is a little bit confusing there's only two ATMs to order from even though, even though you can order from your for your phone but um, I just want to I like to see what the food that I eat and so this concept makes it a little bit difficult to kind of see what what I'm ordering food quality at the proper eats food hall was very much hit or miss something that stuck out to me after a few days is that you can find better quality options at the same price in other locations of the Aria. If you want a better burger, go to Posh Burger, or for pizza, definitely go with Moneyline. And this pizza place is really, really good. I've had it a few times. Let's go look at the sports book. Kind of tiny for what I remember. Yeah, it's a small sports book compared to a lot of the casinos this size. Oh shit! That looks good. What if it fills it up? Stop! Oh. It's teasing me now. One of the things we noticed in terms of the casino at Aria was the elimination of most side-by-side -side slots like this one. They've all been replaced with slots in these four seat configurations, most likely as a result of spacing needs during the pandemic. We always come to Vegas to check out shows, especially if there's a special headliner in town. On this three night stay tonight, we're gonna see a show called Awakening at the Wynn Resort. Uh, previously there, our favorite show, Le Rev, was there for years and they closed it pretty early. Not sure why, but this new show opened up months ago and it didn't have the best reviews, so they shut it down to kind of retooled it. And so they just recently reopened. And so I'm just kind of curious to see what, what kind of changes they've made and if the show is good. We took Uber to the win for the show. In order to find the Uber pickup spot at the Aria, you want to go around the back of the patisserie and find the escalators that take you down to the basement pickup spot. This is different from where Ubers drop off passengers. of Awakening in a future video, so make sure you subscribe if you want to hear my thoughts on the new redone version of this show. After the show, we walked back to the Aria from the Wind to enjoy the sights. The walk took us about 45 minutes as we looked forward to a great night of sleep in the Aria beds after a long day of travel.
morning. Uh, we slept really well last night. The AC did not cool as much as I thought it would, but the bed is so comfortable that it didn't matter. Also, there was this uh, curtain does not close all the way, so the, the bright, bright, bright light right in my face. But luckily, I, I brought a mask, so um, I recommend you bring a mask. We're going to uh, tour the area today. I know there's been so many changes with the restaurants and the facilities, so we're going to check that out, and, and then we're going to go and look for a place to eat breakfast. Before finding a place for breakfast, a stop at the MGM Rewards desk was in order. If you're military, make sure to one of the first things you do when you come to the Aria or any MGM resort is go to the MGM Rewards desk and sign up for a military card. It gives you tons of benefits, including 10% at all MGM owned restaurants and 25% off spa services. There's also some other stuff on the website if you want to check it out, but it's a great deal. We got it so we can take advantage of it for breakfast. The options for breakfast are kind of limited now with the buffet gone, so we decided to go with Bordeaux Brasserie, which is where we had our brunch after our wedding. There's lots of really good foods. Unfortunately, I can't have most of them though, but there was no line to get in. How's the coffee? It's good. What did you order? Overnight oats. That does not look like overnight oats. It looks really good though. I ordered a French onion soup with minus the croutons and they uh, split it up into two servings. For breakfast, I got a French omelet with some cheese and a side salad and hash browns. I also got a really amazing side of bacon. You have to try the bacon if you come here. And then Joel got a breakfast sandwich with a salad. We're, we're about to test this out. So the omelet is okay. I don't know if they use real eggs for the omelet, but the bacon is delicious as always. Mm. This is what the line for breakfast looks at most places now that there's no buffet. So we were we were in line here. We decided to go to Bardo Brasserie instead. So this is Egghead. This is one of the only few options that truly serve breakfast. And it wasn't open yesterday when we came in. But they make breakfast sandwiches. 10.35 after breakfast and housekeeping has already cleaned our room. Make sure to hit the house, the service button inside your room so the service light comes on outside. Uh, the hotel uses the lather products. So we've got a good replenishment of these products, which I completely love. It's a natural uh, company out, uh, out of California. They make really good bath and body products. I actually been using their deodorant for years, it's about 20 bucks, but it's a natural deodorant and it works really well on the body. There's several spots to get coffee and there's a Starbucks, which I'm not a fan of, but this Starbucks is always busy. I just recommend you go check out some of the other places at the Aria to get coffee. Or you can do this long way. I wish I could have a donut, but they have this place called Easy Donuts and let's see what they have. Mm -hmm. These look really good, like, Especially this jelly filled. You can either get in Starbucks and get coffee, or you can get in this line that only has five people in line and get you some coffee. The Sun Dries Express is a little store. There's all sorts of things, including these little lotions. Candles that smell like the Aria, they're really nice. 32 bucks for a candle. They smell really good though. There's all sorts of things and snacks and goodies if you need some stuff while you're staying here. And lots of beverages. This is cool, a little Aria bag. Taryn, I think this is Tareen. Can't tell what this is, but this is a women's clothing store. I've never gone in here. I have no need to go in here. But there's some fancy clothes and swimsuits, it appears. Here you go, selections of brands include Sarah Jessica Parker, Alicia, MCM, Laura, Mercer, Paige, and tons of nice fancy shoes. So if you forget something, there's lots of options here. These are pretty cool. We had our wedding reception dinner at Carbone. It's a family style Italian restaurant out of New York City. Uh, this is the second location and there's actually another location in Dallas that recently opened up. And over in the same area, there's John George's Steakhouse. We've never eaten here. There's just so many good steakhouses in Vegas. We just never had the chance to, to try this one out. Maybe one day, it looks really nice inside. When Aria first opened up years ago, there was a Cirque show here. I forgot what it was called, but it was pretty much as a rehash of all the different acts from other shows. And so it didn't last long. The show kind of bombed. We, we saw it and it wasn't the best. They've now converted this into a humongous convention area. 
in order to get to the gym, you'll want to walk through the spa. And there's not really uh, good signs pointing it out. Here's the salon at Aria. You can get haircuts and everything. And there's a med spa. This is actually new for kids. I think this is for kids. No, never mind. She's a med spa. And here's the check-in for the spa. And the gym at the Aria is actually one of the best gyms I've been to for a hotel. Equipment is brand new, well maintained. It's never crowded. It's humongous. It's larger than where I work out at home. There's actually two different pools. There's a regular pool and there's a one for the sky pool. So if you're staying in the sky suites, you have access to that pool. There's these hot tubs hidden over here. At 11.30, there's actually no one in the hot tub at the moment. And there's actually two of them. Let's see how hot the water is. Oh yeah, it's really nice and hot. It's 11.30 on a Saturday and there are still some chairs out. Not many, but none, none in the shade. You can actually rent a chair, it's 75 bucks per person. I checked for today and there was no chairs available. Over here, when you come to the right, there's a sky pool, like I said, this is strictly reserved for people that have Sky Suites uh, access, Sky Suites rooms. Uh, the chairs look a lot more comfortable. It's not as crowded, but uh, it's really nice. So it actually looks like there's three pools. So on my left, there's the Sky Pool, and then there's one over here. And then the second one is also open to the public. And this one looks pretty full. Like I don't see any loungers uh, open. Liquid pool and lounge is their party pool. I've never been in here, but if you go to the spa, there's a hot tub that is outdoors. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it overlooks the party pool. And I've sat there for hours and just kind of enjoyed the music and, and the crowd. Since we have a tub in our bathroom, I'm going to get some ice and do a cold plunge. But I need to get the ice to the bathroom, so I am going to use my luggage and fill it up. Tonight we're gonna go see Bruno Mars at the Park MGM. Luckily the hotel is connected to the Aria, so we're just gonna take the little walkway over. We're at the Park MGM. Unfortunately, Bruno Mars wants to take everyone's phones away, so we gotta put them in a bag. So that's gonna be it for tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. The show last night for Bruno Mars was incredible. It was the first time that they, I've ever gone to a show where they take away your cell phones. And so that made everyone really present and enjoy the concert. If you ever get the chance to see Bruno Mars, check it out. This morning, we're gonna to go to over to the Bellagio to have breakfast. The breakfast buffet used to be one of our favorites, so hopefully it's still just as good as we remember. The good thing is that we can take a tram from Aria that's connected over to Bellagio so we won't have to go outside in the heat. So we're gonna take the train at Crystal's as opposed to the back of the Aria, which is also an option. So these right here are James Terrell installations, famous artist. The cool thing for this is you want to be on the other side to looking in and it looks like a, pur a purple frame. It looks really cool depending on where you're, where you're standing at. This is a good spot right here. It just looks like purple panels. Our final night we're going to Allegiant Stadium for Beyonce's concert we've been told by several people the best way to get there from the Aria is to take the Uber down to the Delano Hotel and then from the Delano Hotel walk a bridge over to Allegiant Stadium so we're excited about the show so this is the area by the Delano that's closed so this was definitely a good recommendation to take the Uber out here Our seats for Beyonce were taken by some lights for the staging, so they upgraded us to first level. 
So not only did they upgrade me and Joe's seat from up there to VIP, but they also upgraded, well, they gave us four seats. Uh, so Jeremy and Jose are coming down to meet us. The secret. It was a great show. We are almost back at the hotel. It's taken us an hour and a half to walk back from Allegiant Stadium to Aria. It's not bad, but it, Uber would have been impossible. Our three day trip to the Aria is coming to the end. We still have two more trips scheduled in Vegas. And we're looking for a change. So if you stayed at the Aria before and have tried other resorts and you prefer something else, Please let me know in the comments because we're still kind of looking for some different hotels to try out. We've been to the Aria so many times since 2012. This was our first time back since the pandemic and some things have changed, for the, but for the most part, I still believe this is the best MGM property. The Aria room is still in really good shape, pretty well maintained. We do spend a lot of time in our rooms when we come to Vegas during the day to relax and recharge for the night. So. Our room is just more than just a place to put our heads down. The, th the thing that's changed here is uh, obviously the prices. We always did prefer a buffet to start off our day in the morning, and that unfortunately is no longer here. That's been replaced with the food court, which we're not big fans of. So the past two mornings, we went to breakfast at the Bellagio, took the tram, and it's still a pretty decent uh, buffet even though the price is almost 50 bucks per person. Vegas has obviously gotten a lot busier, especially with the addition of Allegiant Stadium. When there's a concert, that's bringing it in at least 80,000 more people into the city. In addition to all the shows, the demand for rooms has gone up, and so are the prices, especially for the rooms. We only come usually to Vegas when there's a headliner or a special show. So over the years, we've been coming less and less. But I still recommend the Aria. I love this place and everything it means to us. It's still, to me, one of the most comfortable options on the strip. So we would come back to the Aria in a heartbeat. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the